Around mid-January, people in India celebrate the season of new harvest, which in Bengal is known as Nobanno. The season also marks the arrival of Nolan Gore. So people take advantage of the abundance of rice, gore, and milk by making pitipuli, which are our traditional rice cakes. Bati Shapta is one of the pites that we like to make this season, so that's what we'll be making today. These are the ingredients for our recipe. A half cup or eight tablespoons of rice flour. A half cup or eight tablespoons of regular all-purpose flour. A quarter cup or four tablespoons of sugar. A quarter teaspoon of salt. These four ingredients that we just described are going to be used in the batter only. We'll also need cardamom powder, a half teaspoon for the batter, and another three quarters teaspoon for the filling. Two cups of milk for the batter, and four tablespoons of milk for the filling. And these remaining three ingredients are going to be used for the filling only. Three quarters cup or 12 tablespoons of grated coconut, one third cup or six tablespoons of koa, and three quarters cup or 12 tablespoons of date palm jaggery or brown sugar. So first we'll make the filling with the grated coconut, koa, and jaggery. Then we'll make the batter with the flour, sugar, and milk. And finally, we'll make the crepe and add the filling to make the final body shapta. To make the filling, put grated coconut in a heavy bottom pan. Add the koa. Add the jaggery. The cardamom powder. The milk and mix that all together. And now turn on the stove. Slowly heat the pan and stir the mixture constantly. You might have to add more milk if the mixture becomes too thick. And when the mixture reaches a peanut butter-like consistency, move that from the heat and then set it aside. To make the batter, in a bowl, add the rice flour, the all-purpose flour, sugar, salt, cardamom powder, and then mix that all together. Now add the two cups of milk in small portions as you whisk constantly. And it's really important to make a consistent mixture so that your crepes turn out evenly. To make a thinner batter, you can add more milk if necessary. And it might take you a few tries to get the right consistency. Heat a nonstick frying pan over low heat. Add several drops of ghee. And we use a tiny piece of paper towel to spread the ghee around. Pour one ladle full of batter into the middle of the pan and let that batter spread around. Let it cook for about a minute or so until you see air bubbles collecting underneath the crepe. To make sure the crepe is cooked and firm, raise up the side of the crepe with a spatula. Then you'll put around two tablespoons of filling on one edge of the crepe and carefully roll that into a tube. Press the crepe gently for the filling to spread out. You can keep it on the pan for a little longer to brown the sides a little bit more.
Then remove that from the heat and put it on a plate. Do the same thing with the rest of the batter and the filling. This takes about 45 minutes and makes around 8 to 10 body chakras.